Hey there! This is the footage from the weekly peak that was scheduled to go out before Dad went in the hospital and needed some finishing touches. But before we get into that footage, we wanted to give you a quick update on Dad. Well, I want to thank everybody for all their prayers. This last week, I went in for some pneumonia. While they were in there doing chest x-rays and some other things, they found a few lymph nodes that were enlarged. And, uh, and then, of course, throughout that week, did further tests. Yeah. And I was diagnosed with lymphoma. He's stage three. They wanted to immediately start chemo on him. They were only giving him like a 50-50 chance with chemo. It seemed like the, the... Yeah, it was kind of a weird thing. Yeah, it didn't seem like very good odds. So we know that there's a lot of other options out there. And we actually had... Uh, coincidentally or not, I've uh, been looking at some other options of uh, beforehand anyways. Gary started a, a treatment, a different type of treatment program and... Um, Feeling good so far? Yeah, the good news, <clears throat> I guess if there's any good news to this, is he's over his pneumonia. Yes. Little coffee thing, but it's not bad. And now it's just on to lymphoma. We're feeling hopeful and I will say too that I don't think there's anyone in the family that doesn't believe that Gary's gonna 100% um, oh, yeah. come this out is, of this. this is amazing. So we just appreciate your prayers and yes, thank you so much. Yeah, we could really feel them. Yes. This time we paint the baby room, Bryson builds an HHO generator, and Tess epoxy on an anthill. So last week we talked about how I didn't really care for the gold color fan. So instead of trying to buy a new fan, we thought we'd try and paint all the little gold pieces gray. It would have been a lot more work to take off all the wiring and the whole fan down, so I'm just gonna mask this off and do a quick spray. turned out really good. I love the way it looks. It has a lot more of a modern feel to it, which we really, really like. Bryson and Gary had built this HHO generator. They made a little box for it. It's been stored away. It's nice and dusty in there, my goodness. <laughs> We used it for years to oxygenate our drinking water. I'd say probably about a year ago, for whatever reason, I guess with all the construction in the kitchen, we stopped doing that and we missed that water. It has a great taste and you get a little boost of energy from it. I pulled that thing back out and it's just in really not so good shape. We're obviously gonna so. have to revive that, huh? It, we're ready for a new one. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. Bryson did some research on the HHO generator, see if there's anything new and exciting going on with them. He pulled together an idea and he's gonna build us a new one. Okay, so I've been seeing mom do a lot of resin projects and she's making resin look really fun. So, I've been wanting to pour aluminum down anthills because I've seen people do it online and they, the sculptures come out really cool. But melting a lot of aluminum like that's a big process. But then it dawned on, what happens if I poured resin down an anthill. So I bought a thing of resin and that's what we're gonna do. We'll probably do a small anthill, not a big one. Test out, cause you know, we might pour resin down there and the resin soaks into the ground, boop, no more resin, so. So uh, yeah, let's go pour it down an anthill. You ready? You gonna go put this in right here? No, nope, I think this is probably stirred enough. Well, that's not far. Oh, this might be take a little bit, huh? I think it kinda stopped going down. Oh, you filled it? I think so. Doesn't add up for the amount of volume here that's been taken out of the hole, you know? I hope it, it turns out really good. That'd be cool to see. We wanted to give the baby room some more baby things. It just so happens we know some, some great artists, so we call them some backup. Hi! Did she just leave you there? She just drove away! Unbelievable. Such a long walk, too. I know. Look at that. 
<laughs> there you go, baby. <laughs> All right, are we ready to paint a baby room? Woo! Let's do it. Do it. Okay. All right. Cool. Oh well. Oh, that is so cute. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. It's the perfect size too, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. yeah I think so. You guys did a great job. I love the color. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. I was thinking you almost could do like a little baby elephant right there, maybe. Like a big tree on this one, maybe. I was thinking it'd be cool too. You can put like a tree in the corner because like there's yeah. nothing here. Oh, we don't have any furniture right here. And we'll do clouds in the ceiling. I think oh, so. It's going to be a cute room then. We can help you guys too. Like draw it out. <laughs> Okay. I'll show you my coloring books. I stay in line. <laughs> <laughs> it's elephant time, my dudes. Planning out where everything's gonna go. Look at our elephant here. Okay. A reference going, and Can't I've never drawn an elephant before, so this is it's all new, new and exciting. Can't really see it oh, in, okay. the, in the footage. That's good because it's a sketch. <laughs> it looks really good. It's disastrous when it's a sketch. You're like, oh man, I hope this gets better. <laughs> and then Shay, you doing a tree? Mm-hmm. That looks good. Hey, can you move this line down about a quarter of an inch? No. It just doesn't quite look perfect. Just kidding. This is what happens <laughs> when non-artists try to take initiative. Ouch, that hurts, <laughs> but okay. I made mine blob. <laughs> it's gonna be so cute. That's nice, isn't it? Yes, it's still dirty, but it's a dirty thing anyway. Usually they dirty up really fast, so. The good thing is you're not bubbling that gucky water into your system. You're just bubbling the gases that come off that gucky water into your water and then drinking that water. See my expert cleaning job. Best jar cleaning job on planet Earth. Let's go make this thing. I'm gonna go find metal in the junkyard, preferably stainless steel. Lasts a bit longer than other things. It's actually, no, this is not stainless steel, this is galvanized. Do not want galvanized things, stainless steel all the way. There's a smaller sheet around here if I can find it. This it is stainless steel. I think this is the piece we cut off the back of the sink we have in the kitchen. And it's got perfect strips, a perfect line to follow. Let's use this guy. Let's go install this stuff. All right. Whew, it's sunny on that side. I'll have to move some of Dad's stuff here. You might be asking yourself, Bryson, I don't see this thing fitting in that jar. Well, the idea behind these is you have some sort of stainless steel sheet and you put them very close together. Boom, 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 boom. And then you plus and minus them. So you go plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, electrify the, the plates with electricity. And then electrolysis happens and then it splits your water up into its gases, which is HHO. So that's basically what happens. We're gonna be bubbling that gas into water and then drinking that water. I have these plates and I'm just wiping the oil off of them because if there's any oil on them, then no conducting of electricity, which is not good. And some shrink wrap here. It will insulate the bolt from touching this plate. The ends will be connected, but the other side of it is either a plus or minus. So we'll be perfectly fine there. The way these plates are gonna stack here, this will be our center plate. Our far end plate will be one of these guys. Then we'll have a secondary plate, which will go here, not electrically charged. Then another plate to go on top of that guy, who isn't electrically charged. And then this plate will be electrically charged. And then it will just stack the exact opposite way. Two empty plates, like so. If I put these in the right order, like here. And that will be our stack. Obviously this bolt needs to be cut down because, and then this lid, which is already gonna be kind of an insulative material, is gonna have slits cut in it exactly for these guys to stick up through the plate. Perfect. So now we'll put this guy in there. We now have our terminals. And I will probably bend those terminals. So I'll probably go like this. Okay. Just like that. It's looking really cool, huh? Yeah. That's more plates than usual. Usually they have just a little plate in there, but I wanted to add extra so we really can make it oxygenated. 
I think we're missing a few things actually. I'm gonna leave it right where it sets with my safety glasses and uh, we'll come back tomorrow and all right. All right, oh, I see you're digging it up. Yep. What happened? Did you break it? Oh, I did break it. Busts really easily. Oh my. We'll have to see what that looks like. Oh, okay, so it's right down. Oh, you need to be careful. It actually has all these little tunnelways. Looks like that's what the tunnelways look like. I'm assuming that's it. Didn't realize it was a little more fragile than I thought, and I ended up breaking it. But let's go uh, rinse them off and... See what we got? Take a look, huh? Let's see what happens when I rinse it off, huh? Get it all the way rinsed there? I think so. I think that is what it looks like. Isn't it the Enterprise that has just like a flying pancake? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I think. I don't know. I don't know. There's a resonant right there. Sealed in its resin. Oh, yes. That's what we want to Yeah. What, what we came for. I feel like that's kind of what it looks like with holes throughout the entire thing. If you pumped water up into there, you might be able to get some water coming out the ends. A while ago, we measured all the puppies and we tried to guess how big Ollie was gonna be. He's gotten a bit bigger, he's like six to eight months. So here's Luna and Ollie here. You can see he's just not quite as tall as her, but he might get there. He's definitely bigger than Chipsters. Chips is ready to go. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> he might get bigger than Luna, who knows? He's still got time. What do you think of that, Luna? That would be a bummer, wouldn't it? Because she was, it was the big mama. Huh, yeah. You think he's gonna get bigger than you? Huh? This was the top. I think like this piece was like on there or something. And I mean, some of the pieces look kind of neat. Very unique. You can see the whole shape of the antail, especially this piece. It has this kind of bulgy kind of look to it, which is kind of neat. It's just hardened dirt with the resin. Yep, this is where we're gonna connect all of our wires. Yeah, I should have definitely drilled these holes in there before I put this on because I ended up ripping out my hoses. Redo. Whoops. Rise and finish the HHL generator. He's got a fish pump that drives her into there. He's got electronics hooked up to create the hydrogen. This is creating hydrogen, and that air is being pumped into our water. And about a half a gallon we run for about a half hour. Let's see how it tastes. Oh, I miss this water. Oh, it is really good water. So there it is. He did a good job. It back in our little box. He fixed the box. I love this water. I don't know if it's just in my imagination, but it just seems like I get more energy drinking it too. It's, it's good stuff. Looking good. Aww. I think it's the ears that make that thing so cute. Oh yeah, the eyes. I don't know. The eyes are really selling it, don't you think? Yeah. Actually, they do look good in the camera here. Oh, oh, oh that's good, that's good. <laughs> and trees coming together nicely. Looks so good, Shay. Thank I love you. your branch shapes. You getting pink on there? I am. It looks a little messy now, but I plan on going in and like doing fine stuff so the, the edges will be nice and sharp. So what you doing, Al? Um, attempting to paint a cloud 
Looks like cloud, doesn't it? It does. It looks really good. I like that it makes the ceiling look more blue too. With the contrast of the white. It's very nice. Uh, I decided I needed definition in order to continue because it's a blob now. <laughs> it does look like an elephant though. It's just missing its trunk. Yeah, what is in its trunk is its legs. It's just oh. blobs. <laughs> it looks good. <laughs> Oh, Brie, that thing is looking so good. Oh, yeah, we only so compliments this from the camera sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta save my, my reaction for the camera, Shay. Yeah, we gotta save it so it's genuine. Yeah. Oh, that, that tree too, Shay, is, is literally perfect. <laughs> Thank you. It looks just so good. That whole, it's gonna be the cutest corner. Cutest corner in the house. I did possibly the most artistically straining part of this, which is a tree. Like, you know, what does it even look like? There's no references, but I did it. <laughs> I did it. It's all good. I got it. 20 times uh, more artistically skilled, but Brie did a piece in here, and it might, uh, you might be able to spot it. If you look really hard, you might be able to spot which one was hers. Really guaranteed the monkey monkeys. I did all the intricate artistic work. I just, it was a group effort for sure. Oh, this is so, so beautiful. cute. Yeah, it's Brie, so, it's so no cute. problem. Thanks for letting this come and uh, graffiti your walls. It was a little bit of vandalism. We broke it, but I'm glad you were happy with it. <laughs> We are so happy with it. Oh, it is so cute and just exactly what we were picturing. It's yeah. so awesome. Yeah. The baby's gonna love it. She is. Thank you so much, Brie and Shay. You guys did such a good job. Yeah, thank you guys. This is absolutely perfect. We love it. Well, that wraps up this week. The design of the week is this little elephant with the saying, think big. If you'd like to get this on a t-shirt, sweatshirt, a handbag, apron, all kinds of fun stuff, along with all of the other designs that we've done in the past, you can check out our merch link down in the description. Thank you so much for all your well-wishing and prayers. We so appreciate it. I know the family really felt that very strongly and means a lot to us. We ask that you keep it coming our way. We're a family that likes to keep our hands busy and, and keep doing something, especially in times like these. So prepare yourself for, I'm sure, more weekly peaks. We are posting little Little updates, not crazy big, but just little things as they come over on our Twitter at My Little Homestead. Anyway, thank you so much for being a part of our family, and we will catch you again next Friday. Bye! Thank you! And then, of course, though, that will be, uh, you know, that sound when you go to glue it. Okay? Oh, I see you need an eraser. He knows nothing of art. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. You knew that line Kill I was talking about. Mona Lisa. Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. For the word of advice for the day, don't over crinkle. <laughs> when you're painting. <laughs> so he's still a little bit smaller than, can I? All right, stay babies, stay. <laughs>